Hey guys, Bye. it's Donna and Kyla. And today we are going thrift store shopping. Yeah. So it is raining cats and dogs outside. We are soaked. We just went to Walmart for a few minutes to pick up a few things before the thrift store opened. And we're gonna tell you about that when we get home because Kyla found something really cool. Don't tell them, don't tell them. So join along with us. We're gonna head on inside here in a few minutes once the store opens. See you guys in a second. So we are back at the house and I'm happy to report we picked up a lot of stuff to share with you today. So I'm gonna let Kyla go first so that I can show you what else I got. So what did you find, Kyla? What are they? And that's a suit. So the funny story about this is a few weeks ago we were at Walmart and Kyla insisted that we look for Elsa shoes and I told her that they didn't carry them because honestly I did not want to pay full price for the Elsa shoes. So I went home, looked online, they were probably about $20, $25 and I still did not want to pay that for Elsa shoes. So kept looking so today we were at walmart again this morning to pick up just a few odds and ends and she said i want to look for elsa's shoes so i said hey let's just go look down the clearance aisle just to make her happy wouldn't you know it elsa's shoes <laughs> i can't even believe it there was two pairs of anna shoes sitting there and i didn't even see these at first they were kind of tucked behind some other things how much did we pay for them do you remember how much did we pay for them five hmm. dollars so Kyla has the steal of the day, I think. They were originally $16.88, and we paid $5, so I couldn't pass them up. So now Kyla has the whole outfit. She got the dress for Christmas for Frozen 2, believe it or not, and now she has the Elsa boots. So good job, Kyla. Good job finding the sale. All right, so let me show you what I picked up at the thrift store. I picked up these in the toy section. I don't know much about these, but I know Connects is a good company um, to pick up. So Legos and Connects, I usually probably pick these up um, most of the time as long as they're in good condition. The only problem was it was completely taped up, so I wasn't sure what was inside of it. But today is 50% off day, so I bought these for $4, so I really couldn't pass them up. Um, the resale value looked pretty good online. I'm sure I can at least get $20 for these. Um, and I was happy when I opened them up everything looks to be in good condition i've got to count them the box says there should be 50 pieces so we shall see but hopefully i can get 20 or 25 dollars each okay so what else did we get picked up this really cute purse it was pushed all the way in the back and at first i wasn't going to even look at it but i thought it was a cute design um it ends up being lauren ralph lauren and when i looked online the ones that sell the best are the ones that like show you in your face what brand it is and since it has this patch here I hope you can see that Lauren Ralph Lauren but what's really cute about it I thought were the braided handles and it also is made of like this purpley denim color and then it's magnetic and look at this bright cool color on the inside so I only paid five dollars for that and I'm sure I can easily get 25 to 30 dollars now there is like a pin mark in here and the leather's a little bit dirty on the inside um so even if I can get 20 dollars for that I'll be really happy with the five dollar investment um, another bag that I picked up, oh, she put a whole bunch of stuff in it, it looks like, <laughs> is this cute Victoria's Secret pink bag. The pink logo itself, I think, will sell this bag, but it's a mesh tote, um, and the bottom is solid, so I thought that was really super cute for only $2. Didn't even look it up yet, but hopefully I'll be able to get $15 to $20 on that. All right, so what's inside the bag? What did she stuff in here, Kyla? Oh, this awesome adidas jacket for men's it is such great condition um, i just couldn't even believe the price on this one i only paid five dollars for it so maybe my husband will like it if he doesn't like it i am sure i can get twenty dollars for this every day so and it's in great condition probably even more i'll list it high and then adjust accordingly um, so hopefully i can get a good price for that so on the way out to check up um they had this new um spinny rack um, with these plastic bags and usually it has toys in them but today there was a whole bunch of them with purses in them so I think they randomly the ones that maybe have been sitting around for a while are trying to group them in these little stylish bags um, but when I looked at it you can see through the plastic it's Kipling which is a really cool good brand and then some random orange thing and then this little looks like ID holder I'm not really care about those it was the purse that I cared about it's a cute little crossbody it's in great condition as long as all the zippers work um, I should be able to get $25 for that and the whole bag like I said it's half price so it was only $5 today so that was awesome um also picked up 
this cute little running shirt by Brooks. So Brooks doesn't just make shoes, they also make clothing. Um, these don't go for a high amount of dollars, um, but I only paid a dollar for it today. So I know I can at least get probably 15 for this. So that is what is in my little baggie there. There's all kinds of stuff down in here. Yeah. All right, bunch of cool shoes that I picked up. Um, these need some cleaning, but the actual shoe themselves are in great condition and it's just going to need a little bit of a wipe down. But these are, I'm going to say it wrong, Papaleo. So Birkenstocks are huge, but this is another brand, Papaleo, to be on the lookout. It's this sandal style with the cork bottoms. Um, and like I said, it just needs a little bit of sprucing up, a little bit of dog hair up in there. Um, and for these, I paid, if you can see the bottom there, they're $9.99 originally, so I only paid $5 for these. These will sell for at least $35, especially with the cute little design on them. So that was awesome. Also picked up, um, these stuck out to me because they are iridescent, but they are Nikes. And this Let's see, the tag says Nike Air Max Thea. Um, and it seemed like the resale value was pretty good on these. The rubbers need to be cleaned up, but otherwise these are in great condition. Even the bottoms are pretty clean. Um, so once I get these cleaned up, I should be able to get at least $35 for these, I think. Uh, what else? Um, these I thought were really cute. I don't normally pick up Sperry, but that's what this brand is, is Sperry. Um, but these are just cute. They're like a gold metallic boat shoe with the espadil bottom, the little straw bottom. Um, and I only paid $3 for these, like why not? So even if I can get $18 to $20 for those, I'll be happy. These boots jumped out at me on the shelf. I thought they were so cute. They're purple. They're way too high for me, so they would not <laughs> work for me. Um, didn't have any tags on them. Couldn't quite figure out what brand they were. Thankfully, they still had the little plastic tag. I doubt you can see that, but they are Mucklucks. So I was like, Mucklucks makes boots? Usually they make these slipper boots that are come up really high and they're like this type of material. Um, but these are actual sturdy boots. Um, when I looked these up, I couldn't find this specific style when I was in the store, so I have to do a little more research. Um, but these are new. So brand new, I think I can get 35 to $40 for these. So that was a really good find, I thought. And I only paid little much six dollars and fifty cents but if I can get the thirty five to forty dollars that would be awesome all right another pair of boots that I picked up um, were these I thought these were super cute um, these are by born and I don't normally see the boots usually you see maybe the sandals or you see the casual flat shoes um, but this is a really nice um, in good condition um, boot so I looked these up too and again I should be able to get about $35 for these that was what and the bottoms are pretty clean this is actually it's not dirty um, it's the type of shoe bottom um, it's almost like it's interlaced with a straw um, is why those look like that um, the other thing I bought for resale <laughs> was this monster. So I don't think this is a huge flip, but I thought it was really cool because it was still in the box. Um, but it's paper jams. Um, and this style was all over yeah, the place for the cops. Yeah. Um, it's not completely brand new, I don't think, because it's been detached from its um, anchors on the inside of the box. So I'm gonna have to take it out and try to test it if I can figure out how to do that, make sure it works. Um, but it is in pretty much good new condition, I think. I don't know, I have to do a little more exploring, but it was only $4, so why not? Um, there was one that sold as much as $40. that was brand new and the package sealed up. Um, so gosh, for $4, even if I can get $20, $25, I will be very happy. I just have to figure out specifically how much it weighs to ship um, and the box that I'm gonna use before I list that. So if not, the kids will have fun with it, right? Um, then I bought some things for myself, so I thought I would just quickly show you those items if you're interested. What did you buy here, Kyla? Blue's Clues Valentine's. Let me show a little closer. So Kyla's really been into Blue's Clues. I don't know if you have any kids at home, but they have recreated Blue's Clues. It's called Blue's Clues and You. Um, it has a new guy on it and they have redone Blue, but they've brought back the old episodes. So they've kind of like revamped the old episodes um, and made it new. So Kyla just loves Blue's Clues and Magenta. So she's gonna give this to her class for Valentine's Day. Um, pick this up. If my husband likes it, he can have it. If not, I'm gonna resell it. <laughs> but it's this super nice gray hoodie under armor um, shirt. So it is, was $6.50, but I definitely know I can get at least 25 for this because it is in excellent condition. Um, there's absolutely no issues with it. Um, it does have the nice embroidered name on the back um, and it also has the under armor symbol there on the back. What else did I get in here? So I got some work clothes. 
I have this cute little cardigan. It's just a Marona cardigan, but I love cardigans. <laughs> I've been consulting lately um, where I used to work, so it's kind of another side job of mine. Um, and the office gets really hot, so I usually wear tank tops with little cardigans on them, so I dress in layers all year round. Um, but I only paid $2 for this cute little cardigan that looks brand new. I also picked up this, oh, it's inside out. It's way cuter than that. This is by Maurice's. Look at this cute little tank top. It's got this lace overlay and like stripes. So I thought this would be cute with jeans in the summer, but I could also dress it up for work. Um, and this only paid two dollars for. Uh, picked up another cute little cardigan. This is a Banana Republic, and it matches one of the um, tank tops that I got today. Um, and this I only paid three dollars and fifty cents for. Uh, another cardigan that I picked up. I've never heard of this brand. It's called Star City, um, but this was brand new. See, it's got the tags on it. Um, and this is a cute little three-quarter length navy blue cardigan. And I only paid $2.50 for that. And then a few cute tank tops I picked up. Um, some brands I knew, some I didn't. This is New York and Company, but I thought that was so cute. And it's got a little black stripe down the line. So I'm going to wear a little black cardigan with that. Um, only paid $2 for that. Thought this was really pretty. This is a company called Paper Moon. Okay, don't know anything about that. It says actually designed exclusively for stitch fix. Stitch fix. So I didn't know that they made their own line, but isn't that cute? It's got this like three quarter roll sleeve on it, and it's just kind of like a flowy shirt. And I only paid two dollars and fifty cents for that. And last but not least, I thought this was really pretty, and this is by Hawthorne no clue 41 hawthorne is that a good brand i don't know let me know um but i thought that was really pretty it's got this cool little um lattice type design on it and i only paid a dollar fifty so this is a good brand it'd be tempting not to sell it but i really like it so i'll wear it first <laughs> so i think that is all we got today so i thought it was a really good thrift haul in my opinion um, please leave some comments below. What do you guys think? What was maybe your favorite thing that you saw that I got today? And share with us what your favorite find was this week. Also, make sure you like the videos and subscribe to the channel. And subscribe to my mom's channel. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Happy thrifting.